Good morning guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my local woodland. Today I've come to do a couple of things. One, to talk about my brand new tripod that I'm super excited about. And the other to do some woodland photography. So what I'm gonna do, because this uh, video is gonna be essentially in two sections, photography first, talk about the tripod second. I'm gonna put some timestamps down in the description. So if you've just come, to look at the tripod then you can use those time stamps to jump you forward to that particular part of the video however i do plan to do some woodland photography before we get on to that and i'm visiting a composition that i photographed in the winter that i thought would be fantastic for a spring photograph i don't think it's too much further down here but the woodland looks so different at the minute it really does everything's burst into life and it's looking super vibrant i've got those really early spring greens which are absolutely fantastic so yeah it's just a case of trying to find this particular composition weather wise there's mist forecast and it's said to be getting thicker as the uh, next hour or so progresses and this uh, this actual location is quite a uh, it's quite good with the uh, weather predictions actually it generally holds true so although it isn't that misty at the minute my hope is that it's going to get mistier so let me, <laughs> let me see if we can find this composition get set up and make an image this morning and then we'll chat about the tripod okay guys let's crack on So, got my composition framed up. It was only actually just a few hundred yards from where I last spoke to you. So yeah, it didn't take me too long to find it, fortunately, because yeah, things have grown so much. It's absolutely beautiful here this morning. Beautiful bird song as well, absolutely wonderful. So yeah, frame the composition up. A um, Couple of issues I have is the sky, and that was the same with the shot when I was here in the winter. So you might recall that video, I was here actually with my large format camera shooting this particular scene. Now I don't have my 4x5 with me today for a good reason. That will be coming in a future episode, so I won't talk about that too much today. But yeah, I'm shooting digital today, so I've got my X-T3 on there, my Fuji X-T3 with my 18-55 to lens on. I'm at about 40mm, something like that zoomed in a little bit so yeah nice focal range for this particular shot and the big issue i have is with the sky and the sky is creeping into the top of this shot and i think that's a bit of an issue and that's why i'm hoping we get a bit more mist a bit more fog because that's going to help us to soften that graduation between the sky and the trees here now this grouping of trees i find particularly uh pleasing to the eye. Essentially they frame a geometrical A-frame. They're positioned in such a way that they're able to, I'm able to space them out quite well so I can get a bit of separation between the trunks of the trees which is always nice when you get those overlapping trees. They tend to blend together especially when conditions are quite flat like this so yeah being able to separate the trunks of the trees is nice and obviously we've got that 
vibrant green now as well so that's helping to separate things as well in the winter time everything's a lot more drab a lot more gray and things tend to blend together a bit more so using that foliage to help separate things as well we've got a series of pine trees and we've got one silver birch that leads over it's got all of these lovely arms that are reaching out and uh, now of course being spring they've got their wonderful light green foliage and I love I love silver birch trees I think they're fantastic their, their foliage is so delicate and uh, I think looks great against a pine or something like that when you've got that real heavy textured bark so it's a good mixture I think for this particular scene yeah settings wise pretty straightforward no filters or anything like that manually focus straight on the tree there f11 half a second ISO 160 there's no breeze so I don't have to worry about my shutter speed or anything like that I can let my shutter speed go to as low as it wants it's still as anything this morning so yeah it's just a case of waiting for the best conditions um, I'm not going to run around trying to get loads of shots I'm happy to wait for this one so yeah I think uh, I think we'll uh, take an image now and then have a little wait to see how we go I'm gonna put a two second timer on have a little look so let's talk about the tripod so this is the Sunway Explorer carbon series tripod and I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it is absolutely wonderful let me tell you feels really nice the carbon it's uh, lovely and light I shaved a couple of hundred grams off my old aluminium tripod which is something I've been looking to do if you've been following the channel for a while you'll know that I've been mentioning that I've been trying to shave weight off everything and yeah, this has saved me a couple of hundred grams, which is absolutely brilliant. This particular one is a four-piece tripod, and it's also got the adjustable centre column. So my old tripod had a centre column, and that I kind of wanted to stick with that. But some way do do a few different types. So if you prefer something slightly different, go and check their website out. I'm sure they'll probably do one that's suitable for you. This uh, centre column here is removable as well. So actually, if you wanted to shave, say, 100 grams off the setup, you could take the centre column out altogether um, and just attach the top plate and the hook through the centre mount here, and that will, uh, yeah, reduce a little bit of weight. But it also allows you to splay the legs completely out and get the tripod lower or get the camera lower to the ground. So if you've got a uh, centre column, you'll know when you splay the le legs out, if you've got it in its lowest position that's going to be touching the floor or you've got to raise it so that that affects the height so taking out the center column completely allows you to get the camera much much lower to the ground which is awesome if you want to do some low down shots you can also spin it upside down as well and mount the camera underneath the tripod so you could do like a top down shot or something like that looking straight down at the ground so that that's really handy these big chunky rubber twist lock uh, adjusters leg adjusters um, are really good they're dust proof and waterproof which is really good so you shouldn't get any water inside the tubes it comes with uh, two different feet it comes with rubber feet and titanium spikes i've got the spikes on now and that's great for landscape photography or when you're out and about get your tripod dug into the ground and make it nice and sturdy rubber feet are obviously great if you're indoors doing some indoor work maybe you don't want to damage the floor so yeah, rubber feet are great. Also comes with a case as well, a nice sturdy case, and it also allows you to get the uh, head in as well. Now this tripod doesn't come with a head, you have to buy the head separately. And this is also by Sunway Photo, this is a GH Pro 2 geared head. Uh, I did a review about that a couple of weeks ago, so I'll leave the link in the description if you fancy checking out more about the head. But yeah, tripod, absolutely brilliant. It goes up to, I would say, about six feet. Well, I'm, I'm six foot. My lens is probably about six foot two, and that's set up at its highest at the minute. And I think that's pretty much covers everything that I need for 99% of what I do. So that's pretty cool. It's super easy to adjust with these adjustable locking um, mechanisms we've got here. And it folds up nice and compact too, which is absolutely brilliant for when you're traveling. So yeah. Their, their range is really good. I think it covers most bases from a really lightweight setup to a more professional heavy duty setup. The Explorer sits somewhere in the middle and is perfect for landscape photographers and people that want to travel but still want a really sturdy setup. So yeah, I think that's great. One thing I really, really like about this tripod is these quarter 20 
threaded holes in the plate here and the head plate as well and I'll tell you why that allows you to screw in accessories essentially so if you were filming you might want to add a monitor you might want to add a, a microphone or a battery pack you can use these quarter 20 threads to attach lots of different accessories but I'm going to be using it for mounting my vlogging camera now I've got this uh, magic arm which is uh, really cool allows you to uh, attach things in different ways but you can screw this into uh, one of these threads here and I've got a quick release plate on the top of it and that's going to allow me to attach my vlogging camera which is going to be absolutely amazing because I can attach two cameras to this tripod that means not only do I save 200 grams in the weight of the tripod I can do away with my vlogging tripod as well which weighs probably half a kilo or something so yeah I'll only need to take one tripod now I'm not going to get the wide perspective like I've got here uh, how I've got the camera positioned about a meter away this is only going to be about 10 inches away but that being said you know the amount of weight it's going to be saving is a uh, massive massive bonus so yeah just carrying this as opposed to a second tripod it's going to be really really good I think especially for those long hikes so just little details like that make make a product can't it but the overall build quality is absolutely brilliant it really is I can't fault it that being said I've only used it for a couple of weeks and like anything you really know a bit more when you've used it for a year or two so you know read into that what you will but yeah first impressions absolutely brilliant sturdy can't see there being any problems with this whatsoever so yeah really looking forward to using it more it just feels like a real joy to use to be honest thank you so much Sunway Photo for sending this out for me to use on the channel I really do appreciate that massively helps me out and yeah thanks for your support so yeah if you're interested I'll leave some links to their website in the description below and also some current prices so you can go and check them out as well so yeah right I'm gonna get this shot and uh, it's looking like the mist is yeah dissipating actually not getting not getting thicker which is not what I predicted at the start is it but you can never tell can you with landscape photography but I'm going to go ahead it's a bit brighter now so actually we're getting a little bit of uh, side light as well which is quite nice so actually what I'm going to do is take this image now and then uh, yeah get back to post-production and uh, yeah see if we can make a nice uh, shot of this so two second timer guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give it a like that really helps me out maybe share it as well if you think others might like this content uh, yeah it's been a wonderful wonderful morning although the mist didn't really materialize I still think I've got a half decent shot here and uh, yeah I think it's a, a nice morning nice to get out anyway so yeah please feel free to check out my online photography club if you think uh, yeah you fancy supporting the channel what I do here but uh, yeah, until next week guys, take care and I will see you soon.